Okay, my friends, let's do this. Are you ready to implement the code to visualize SVR results? Here we go. Let's do it together. So we're going to do it efficiently. We're going to start from our polynomial regression implementation, the visualization code at the end. So we're going to copy it. Then we're going to create a new code cell here and paste it. Okay. And now the exercise is to figure out what we have to change here in order to adapt to our SVR model. So let's do this. First, let's make the obvious change. Let's replace here polynomial regression by SVR. And then let's see row by row what we have to change. Okay, so for the first row, remember that X and Y are the scaled values of the inputs and the outputs. So if we want to have a nice plot with the original values of the position levels and the salaries, well, the first thing we have to do is to reverse the scale of the inputs X and Y to put them in their original scale. Okay, and to do so, well, we're going to take our scalar objects SCX and SCY and apply the inverse transform method on each of them. Okay, so let's do this. Let's start with X. We take our SCX scalar object from which we apply the inverse underscore transform method onto X. Okay, perfect. Now let's do the same for Y. Let's take our SC Y scalar object from which we call again the inverse transform method onto y. Excellent. And we're done with the first row. Now, second row. Let's take care separately of the input x and the prediction. So for x, once again, we have to apply the reverse transformation to get the original scale. So there we go again. We call our sc underscore x scalar object from which we apply again the inverse transform method. There we go. Applied to x. Okay, and now this is where things get interesting. We're going to take care of the predictions now of the inputs in X. So of course we have to remove this whole linrec2 predict polyrec fit transform X and replace it by something. And now the question is, what do we have to replace it with? Well, it is going to be something similar to the prediction we made here. Only here we made it for a single observation. And so we need to adapt this to X, right? Because now we're making the predictions of the inputs in X. Okay, so what we're going to do is take this whole prediction here. We're going to replace that whole linrec2 predict polyrec fit transform x by the prediction we just copied. And now let's see how we have to adapt this. So let's start from inside the predict method. Of course, we want to replace 6.5 by x, but here we had to apply sex transform on 6.5 because 6.5 is the original scale and the predict method has to be applied on the scaled values. But now since we apply the predict method on X, and since X is already scaled, well, we must not reapply the transform method on X. And therefore, what we need to replace here is this whole SCX transform 6.5 by indeed X, because X is already scaled. So there we go. And now I think that's it. I think we're done. That was pretty efficient, but you know, we're never too safe from human errors. So we're going to double check this by executing right away our code cell here. So there we go. Let's click run cell here and let's see what happens. And there we go. We did it all correctly. This is indeed the curve of the SVR model. And as we can see, the predictions in blue go pretty close to the real outcomes in red, except for that last one, which would make it an outlier. But that's how it is.